here's our week one update on learning how to skateboard and as you just saw we can actually kind of ride of our ride our board now and getting used to it and for one week that's kind of good the first begin it's pretty tough because you, you don't, don't know anything and, and, and you're like relying too much on the videos of just stepping on a and tree can't the way, see me but the way they do it it looks really easy and you think why can't I do it or they're just all that like, boom, boom, fucking did it. They're born naturals, but no, it's not true. They got, they have much more years and experience than us. So you only gotta look at it from that standpoint and set yourself limits on what you can, what can't do. You just can't go out there freaking straight like Tony Hawk or some shit. Yeah, because it's just a matter of confidence, really. Because once you realize that you can do it by just stepping on the board and whooshing yourself to victory. You just gotta use that and have it be a snowball effect. Because if you keep saying to yourself you can't and trying to do an Indy 9000, well, of course you can't fucking do it. Cause you gotta be on a half pipe first of all. Yeah, obviously you might get bumps like bumps and screws all over your shins and all that, but you gotta like, think about this is a new experience. It helps you actually learn. You wanna bust on your ass again, fall on your ass. And I remember when I first started being able to ride, I was like, holy fucking shit, I, I can do this. I can. I have unlimited power, nothing's stopping me now. Except for that tree. Or yeah. That no, I slipped and... Yeah, I got like... A that right there. I got a little boo-boo. Uh-huh. Now that we can ride, we've been working on some tricks. So, right now we're trying to learn the ollie, which is the fundamental of every freaking trick in the book. Um, not only that, but we're trying to do the front side 180 note fly, which is pretty complicated. It's scary to land. You yeah. really can't get your back foot on the board. I can't get over that fear for some reason, but I'm working on it, so maybe next Saturday we'll be able to get done with that. And once we can land the no comply 180 thingy, well then it's just a matter of doing it all in one fluid motion, then it's a pop, not pop shove, it's a normal shove it. And that's two tricks. Yeah, so once you get, get down on not moving, you can transition that into when you're actually riding, you do it execute that move and fucking nothing. So, practicing over and over and over helps a lot. Or you ski and train your Do that, have it be muscle memory, and then when you actually roll, maybe you might land it. Maybe yeah. not. Probably will. Practice a lot. Maybe you don't. Who cares? I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people care because you're probably going to record something on YouTube and then everything will be like, ha ha, you can't do it. If you probably couldn't do it, you probably should not do it. Yeah, you're stupid. Come on, nasty. We're stupid. Come on, we're embarrassing ourselves. <laughs> I know. So if we can get, get, get the balls to do it, you yeah. get the balls to do anything you want. So we're not Even trying to balls. Yeah. Um, we're not trying to say go out there and learn skateboarding. We're just trying to say that learn something you really want to learn that you've been putting off for ages because you feel you have no idea what you're doing but you got all the information you need right there right in front of your fingertips yeah, you Google it, Google it yeah, you gotta Google it so get off that Instagram girl all that Twitter all that Facebook yeah, you know you gotta go follow that nigga fucking do what you wanna do and do it so yeah just go out and learn something new yep you just Google it Hit enter. Hit enter. Click the first thing. Probably the second thing as well. And then implement that knowledge. 